I'll be using this farmhouse picture home decor. And I'll also be using the Tumbling Tower game blocks, a total of 64 pieces. Some large popsicle sticks, a paintbrush, some Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover Paint and Primer in the color Blossom White, also some acrylic matte paint in the color Pewter Gray, and last but not least, my glue gun. Okay, I'm gonna start by removing all the wrapping of this picture decor, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take out all the backing and the glass and also the paper picture. And then once I'm done doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and start arranging my blocks and how I want to hot glue them around the picture frame. There is a total of 36 pieces per box. Now I'm gonna start off with this one box and then I'm gonna open up the additional box and I'm only gonna use 28 pieces from the second box. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to arrange my blocks around my frame and there is a particular way that I need to place them before that I hot glue them. On the right side corner, I have a bit of an overhang as I'm showing you right there. And on the left side, it is flush to my frame. On the left side, I'm gonna place my block all the way to the top. It needs to be framed this way, that way you don't have to do no cutting on the blocks. It'll fit perfectly all around the frame. I'm gonna continue placing my blocks and then when I'm done, I'll start hot gluing them. Okay, I'm ready to start gluing and I'm gonna start at the left corner. I started hot gluing it this way, but I soon found out that it was easier just to pick up my frame and start hot gluing it along the way, but with the frame standing up. Okay, so this is how the top side looks with it already done. And now I've placed my frame down and I'm just rearranging my blocks once again and make sure that they're still in order. And now I'm gonna start on the left side and I'm gonna start hot gluing the blocks. Okay, I'm done also with the bottom side, the left side, and the top side, and now I need the right side. I just want you to see that the bottom left side has the overhang. And now I'm gonna start adding the blocks to the right side. Okay, now that I'm done framing my frame, I'm gonna start adding the blocks at the bottom so that I can start doing my shelf. I'm gonna start by laying the blocks on their side. Now, once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and position them where each corner will have an overhang as I'm showing you right there. Now I forgot to mention, I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm just gonna mark the edges on both sides so when I hot glue them, I know where I'm gonna place them. And here I'm just showing you that each side has an overhang. I didn't measure, all I did was eyeball it since the blocks are not that big. Okay, so now I'm ready to start hot gluing my first row that'll serve as my shelf. Okay, here I'm just showing you what it looks like and as I turn it around, you can see how it is starting to take shape. And I'll just continue adding the blocks until I come to the end.
Okay, I'm done with the first row and I'm gonna continue adding five more rows to this shelf. Okay, so I'm done adding all the rows and there is a total of six rows. I could have stopped here, but I decided to add some trimming to the edge of my shelf. For the trimming, I'm gonna be using some popsicle sticks and I'm gonna get my scissors and I'm going to cut the edge and that way I can square them off. Okay, so now that I've cut all my popsicle sticks, I'm ready to start hot gluing the trimming. Okay, so I'm ready now to place my third popsicle stick, but as you can see, it's too long. I'm gonna go ahead and take my pencil and do the marking where I need to cut it. And now moving on to both sides, I'll be doing the same thing, measuring and then cutting and hot gluing. Okay, so now I am done and I've already added all my trimming and what I've done is I've also put some popsicle sticks at the bottom of the shelf just to give it some reinforcement. Since it is going to serve as a shelf, it needs to be pretty sturdy. I've also put some popsicle sticks in the back side just to reinforce all the blocks that are all glued together. Okay, so now my project is ready for me to go and spray paint it. So I'm gonna take it outside and do that and then I will bring it inside once the paint is dry and we'll finish off this project. Okay, so three hours later and my paint is completely dry. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some gray paint to make it look rustic and distressed. Okay, so I'm gonna start by adding a little bit of that gray paint to my paintbrush like this. And the key is to put very little paint and start brushing it on very lightly. At first I went in with a very light hand. But then as I looked at it, I wanted it to have a little bit more color, so I went heavier with the gray paint as you'll see in just a bit. Okay, I'm done giving it that distressed look and now I'm gonna let it dry before I put my picture and my glass back on. Okay, now that the paint is dry, I'll be adding everything back in its place. Okay, beauties, my Dollar Tree picture frame with shelf is complete. I do have to say that it did take some time. Adding all those little blocks was work. But I really do think that the outcome turned out really nice. Now with this DIY, you can hang it on a wall or you can also sit it on a tabletop. At this point, I'm not really sure if I'm going to hang it or just put it on a table, but I knew when I saw this picture at Dollar Tree that I had to have it. I absolutely love the farmhouse picture. I just thought that the frame that it had was just too small, so I wanted to do something special with it and this is what I came up with. Okay beauties, well that is it for this Dollar Tree DIY. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also share, I'd really appreciate it. You have yourself a blessed day and I will see you on my next video. So until then, bye bye and God bless.